are continuing to track Dorian for you this morning. The hurricane remains a devastating category five storm with strong wind and a life threatening storm surge. Dorian may spare the US a direct hit, but it will move closer to Florida's coast later today. Channel three eyewitness news reporter Eva Zamaris joins us live now in the studio with the latest on the storm. Eva. Well, good morning to you, Caitlin. Mandatory evacuations were underway in some parts of Florida and ordered for later today for the coastlines of South Carolina and Georgia. Now, millions of Americans could feel the storm's impact. Hurricane Dorian churned its way across the Bahamas overnight as a powerful Category 5 storm. Dorian's dangerously strong winds have ripped off roofs, overturned cars, and tore down power lines as people hunkered down in schools, churches, and shelters, bracing for the worst. As Dorian creeps towards Florida, it's unclear if it will make a direct strike over the U.S. But authorities aren't waiting to find out mandatory evacuations are underway. The strength of this storm cannot be underestimated. States of emergency have been declared in Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas. Officials say even if Dorian veers back out to sea, the region is still facing days of potentially devastating rain and winds. Now, authorities are getting ready for Dorian's aftermath. Emergency supplies and power trucks have been positioned to move in once the coast is clear. Now, I will be tracking the story very closely throughout the morning, and I will have much more on this story coming up in our next half hour. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.